Mic check, mic check. Why wear pants at all? <laughs> it's Thursday, it's 5 o'clock, it's time for Tony and Chelsea Live, the show where you send your pictures in and we look at them in real time and give you feedback. And we give you the latest in photo news. And also you can win stuff. And also hilarious. <laughs> Me, not so much Tony. Yeah, it's mostly her. <laughs> yeah. So... Oh, we have Chris Reddy here. He's screening your comments and your photos. Hey, Chris. So hey, don't forget. Hey, to... How's everybody? We're doing all right. So don't it's everybody good. It's good. ask Chris your questions and he'll relay them to us. He's in the comments in the live chat. We have Justin maybe. here. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hello. How's it going? Uh, Justin's trying to cobble this whole mess together, and usually he's successful. So thank you, Justin. <laughs> You can send your comments to hashtag TC Live at, on Instagram or Twitter, or just write them in the live chat, and we'll try to get to them. Um, uh, this week we're looking at street or street photography pictures. Yeah. So visit scp.io slash submit and send us in your street photography pictures. Uh, them now. Just because we've done this topic before, and I know we're going to get a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Like none of the just street performers just performing. Okay. We want to see interesting stories. And I don't want to just see pictures of streets, but street photography is pictures of people being interesting. Not just any picture of people, but there should be a little bit of a story behind it or interesting characters or mm -hmm. some personality. We still want to see good composition, nice lighting, an interesting story. So aim for those things. And if you get a pic from us, your photo will be, will be entered into a voting pool. All of the viewers will vote on their favorite photo. And if you win, you get a prize. And we have a new prize this week. Uh, last week's winner was uh, Philip Cadavi. And we had, what was our theme, travel? Uh, storytelling, right? Sto oh, storytelling. Yeah, story yeah and I love that picture. Just yeah. what a, uh, so many people take pictures out of trains, but they really gave it a great focal point. Yes, the, a beautiful story, Philip. Beautiful photo. Definitely a well-deserved win. And Philip, you'll be getting our usual prize um, and our new prize because we didn't tell you we no, need to. No, he doesn't get the new prize. He just gets the usual prize. He just gets the usual prize. Why? Because he hasn't opted in. Oh. We're gonna. We have a new prize and a new contest. Oh, um, I'm so so sorry. Philip gets a coupon code for our store for twenty dollars. Okay. Uh, which is great. We'll email with that sdp.io slash store. Okay. There's a new prize. You have to opt in because we need your email address. So we don't want to just use your email address without your permission. Anyone that submits submits a photo and opts in, you get a 30-day trial to Lightroom CC, um, Lightroom Classic CC, Photoshop CC, and 20 gigabytes of cloud storage. That's a $10 value. You just have to submit a picture with us like you usually do and check the box that it's okay that we have your email. Um, Adobe Actually, I think that's wrong. I think it's just Lightroom CC and or Lightroom I Classic took, CC. Oh, I took that from their website. Oh, this is our really? first week. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll get this anyway, straightened out. But anyway, yeah, you get your Lightroom Classic CC in Photoshop for sure and 20 gigs of storage. Your email address won't be sold to anyone or go outside of this contest. Just we'll have it and Adobe will have it so they can give you your trial. They will send you one email. We made this, we put this in the contract. One email. We will not keep email. sending you emails. Just one email with a redemption code. We made sure you will not be And spammed. it's opt-in, so you can go to sdp.io slash submit and check that checkbox or not. It's okay. I said that. They're okay, you guys. Everything's okay. It's exciting. Um, the winner, if you get a pick for the week, you get a one year of the Adobe Photography Bundle plan. That's a hundred and twenty dollar value. And That's awesome. yeah, that is awesome, right? They saw that we were doing all those Photoshop and uh, Lightroom stuff on the show anyway. They wanted to be a part of it. We figured, hey, we're using it anyway. We may as well try to give it to you guys for free. And then at the end of is it twelve or thirteen weeks? We're gonna. We're going to give these away for 12 or 13 weeks. At the end of that, that winner gets um, a year of the entire Creative Whoa. Cloud suite, and that's a $600 value. So you get everything, Photoshop, Illustrator. Premiere um, Pro Premier, for video editing. Yeah, Premiere Pro. After Effects. After, After Effects. Effects. I use InDesign. It, there's some really cool stuff in there. Um, I actually don't know if those de other details are correct. <laughs> anyway, go to stp.io slash submit, send your picture in. And if you want to participate in that, you can. You can win either way. But you, if you win the pick of the week, you won't get this unless you check that checkbox. Uh, you want to go over a couple of bits of photo news first? Did you have more yes. to say? Yes. Okay. 
I do. I'm seeing this a lot of the news. People are saying DxO is going bankrupt. I just wanted to make one thing clear. DxO, there's a couple of different parts. There's DxO Mark, where everybody goes to check their lens and camera scores and stuff. They do this very analytical testing. That seems to be fine. Fine. A while back, they split off a separate company that was making these ridiculous cameras that you attach to your smartphone, like the DxO One. Mm. That company went bankrupt. Okay. So the DxO Mark is separate thing, and it's okay. They just subcontract those little cameras or something to that particular company. They're just like different entities now. They they were the same company at one point in time, but then they they since split off, and then that part went bankrupt. <laughs> so I guess it was smart okay. to split it off. Uh, I think that's actually all the news that I entered in this wow, week. Wow, that was a because killer. Because I have been really rushed today. <laughs> yeah, that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I'm shook. Chris, do you there have is a, There is a Kickstarter for uh, the, the Raleigh Twin Lens digital revamp. Oh, really? Like yeah. a little TLR? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Twin Lens looks exactly like the, the, the uh, Raleigh that you have on your desk a lot of times and uh they're doing a kickstarter full digital i saw and that all kinds of other things but it it's cute but uh we do live in fear of kickstarter not sure if <laughs> really? you know yeah we're a little scared you any questions or comments for us oh, man we have so many Are people just this week amped up about all the free stuff this? they're getting <laughs> yeah good some, some good questions here is, is it a must for street photography this is from uh, arpin roy is it a must for street photography to include a human subject if it's a creative photo of a very old house is it then still considered street photography i think that would be like architecture or something right i mean uh... yeah it's tough to say i i i'm i think maybe we'll see an example where there's a person in it or there's not a person in it, but we still might qualify it as that. But yeah, I think traditionally it's pictures of people in the street and the stories that go along with it. I looked up the definition just out of curiosity mm -hmm. in Britannica and it alluded that there had to be people. It just said like a candid photo with people basically in a public setting. Justin has spoken. Yeah, Justin. <laughs> Thanks. Fact, there's a tie there's a tie in with that. There's if you've taken street photos without releases, how can you use them? Well, if you sell them, you might get yourself sued. Yeah, you just can't sell them. Um, for the most part, you could put it on your Facebook page or your website or whatever. And you know what? If that person saw themselves and they complained, you might get a cease and desist and they would shut you down. But unless they suffered some damages, you're probably okay. I mean, if you if you took a picture of a dude and he was out having an affair and then it wrecked his marriage and it wrecked his life, maybe he would want to sue you for some additional damages. I can't tell you that that's not going to happen. But generally, if somebody's in a Good. public place in the United States, <laughs> <Kidding>. <laughs> uh, as long as they don't have a reasonable expectation of privacy, that's the guideline. Generally, it's okay to take their picture and use it in non kind of commercial ways. But I'm also not a lawyer. Let's take a look at some pictures. He's also not a lawyer. <laughs> in case you couldn't. Many know. things he's not. <laughs> uh, okay, so here we have a guy with a little food cart. This he, is great. I like this picture, yeah. Uh, great contrast to it. I, I like the composition. There are no distractions. It's very simple. Um, it's in Texas. Look, it's the first one. I'm going to give it a pick. Okay. And then... But for the love of God, we have to pare down the picks this week. Okay, we almost, we almost killed broke Chris. Chris last week. For the love of God! <laughs> Chris, I'm glad you're still here with us after last week. We were a little pick happy. This picture has a lot of elements in it, and and it doesn't have a clear story to me. It just it seems like a picture of traffic. Is this Thailand? Okay. All right, we have a woman selling knitted items. She's decked out in her own stuff. Don't get high on your own supply, crochet lady. <laughs> <laughs> that one got you okay i like it <laughs> yeah that one really got it. anytime you start quoting notorious with crochet ladies i don't think that's who he intended the song for but <laughs> very good picture bruce thank you um this picture is very dark i see we have a little bit of a white point in there but don't you want to just brighten it up some um i i see these pictures people are taking pictures of these weird dolls and bags and i can see why they'd be interested in that but i can't see anybody's faces so it kind of doesn't draw me in it's interesting though i like it 
here we just need this is, a focal point, but the composition's nice, right? The composition is nice, but it is just literally a street. So maybe if there were a person. But I think you find it a nice angle like that, and then you camp out, and you just stay there, and you wait for somebody to come past on one of those big, huge, old-timey French bicycles, mm. or like somebody's skateboarding and they happen to be flipping or something. You yeah, know, yeah. Wait for a focal point to sure. appear, but spend some time. Um, okay. This falls into the category of street performers, I think. They kind of expect to be ta have their picture taken, and I, th I think that isn't true to what street photography is about. I I'll, think of street photography as being like candid stories. I'll also say I uh, did a video with Ira Block, a National Geographic photographer, and one of the tips that he gave is to make sure there's separation between the people in your photos so you can see she's being partially blocked by him. It's just compositionally more pleasing. You should check that video out. He got a lot of good tips. Venice going home. Are you reaching for the contrast? Yeah. Yeah, if you look at that histogram Let's in the upper right can... corner, it's all like curved up towards the middle like a big hill. Uh, so we're the contrast will just spread that out a little bit, push the shadows down and the highlights up. And I think it's already better. It'd be so much better if he was facing the other way. It was a cool yeah. street. Again, like stay there and wait for somebody to come past. This is interesting the lines in here yeah i like the lines too and i like the waiter too uh i wish he had a little more pop to him you know you have to think a lot about the background your subjects on subject separation and here he's against the very cluttered background but if you got down low to the ground and just stood there and waited then his body would be against that white building that's right above him and it's a much plainer background and he might have more pop um it looks like you're dodging and burning a little bit just to separate him from the background and that's a very steve mccurry kind of trick that's a everybody trick yeah okay i think Good i shot, accidentally Michelle. picked it <laughs> but you accidentally picked it but then it feels weird to be like to unpick somebody okay. right <laughs> i've done that before too and i'm like i just have to roll with it it's too too mean to go back and take it away okay okay um nick you, you, I like how you just isolated this one element that you thought was interesting, barefoot on a bicycle. I, um, I love this shot. Yeah. I, I think I'm gonna give it a pick. Oh. Uh, it doesn't include anybody's face. It's a little bit non-traditional, but it's so simple and I like the lines and I, I do think it tells a story, you know, biking barefoot, that's hardcore. Oh. I told you we'd get a lot of street performers. Yeah. We always get the street performers. I do like the angle. I love the emotion of it. Um, yeah, I like the little bit of motion in there. I think it's a good shot of a street performer, and it tells a little bit about yeah, the location the area. of Orleans. Ooh. Oh, that's hey, cool. he camped out like you always tell people to do. And he did some dodging and burning. You got to be a little more, got to feather that brush a little bit more, though. We can see the haloing around the subjects here. <gasps> Tony um, Northrop got to call you out. But I, yeah, I love that you use those hard lines. I can tell you put some thought into it. I'm going to pick Great it. Great shot. Great shot, Tito. That's nice. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Oh, man. The light here is so beautiful. Yeah. You know what Steve McCurry would do is he would Photoshop out those two dudes. <laughs> so that, and just leave these guys in there. And then maybe. <laughs> Bring the shadows up some so we could see a little more of the the bull i think with a little dodging and burning here it, you could really improve the picture but i i miss seeing the bull's face um but i think it's i think a it's a beautiful actually, picture i don't know if it's a bull or not i think that's um a donkey <laughs> let's just let people go crazy they're going crazy anyway we make plenty of mistakes <laughs> no need to add more oh sorry i didn't mean to pass um this, I think that these are probably like a cool element of this location. Oh, a taxi at a car show. Um, but I'd like to see more human interaction to see more of a story with that. Aperture blade. And, and it's a beautiful scene, but what's the story here? There's a guy with a bag and... So again, Man you bag. you might not be able to just walk through a place and see a cool story. Spend hours or days. Or Spend weeks. your life there. Yeah, give up everything. Um, this is a beautiful shot. I, it's not street photography, but I, I really like it. 
Yeah, you're right. It's not. How dare you? What's your name, sir? How dare you? Chris, any questions or comments? Oh, I can't hear you, Chris. Uh, Chris Oh, sorry. I think I know the answer to this, but but it's a good question. Sometimes in low light, this is from Alexandra Seppi. Sometimes in low light situations, some of my pictures appear to have more noise at, for example, 3200 than others at 6400 or even higher. Doesn't happen every time. Is that something real or is it just a perception? Well, it depends on, I think it depends on the colors as well. If they're primary colors, they tend to be noisier. That's a really good point. Reds and blues will have like four times more noise than just whites and grays will. Greens will have half the noise because of the way the bear filter works. Um, is there any reason, though, that his particular camera would? It's probably yeah, an exposure a... thing. Like if the shadows will have more noise than the highlights, you know, the, the highlights could have like one 256th as much noise as the shadows do. So if it's a little underexposed, you'll probably see more noise there. I don't know. What, what, what's your take? You said you knew the answer, Chris. What, what do you think? Yeah, well, he said he has an ADD, so it's it's that's a fairly good low noise camera but what i have seen is that there's a, a major difference in the amount of noise when you're talking about low light versus high iso and a lot of times in low light you'll use a high iso but a lot of times you'll use a high iso just to get a fast shutter speed when there's lots of light and i'll notice in low light there's a huge difference in the amount of noise versus just having lots of light and having to use a high iso because you want you want to shoot at f16 in a thousandth of a second hmm. there's plenty of light it seems to re not have as much noise it's there but it there's a difference between low light high iso and high light high iso that, that sounds like sense. a tony northrup test yeah i'll have to look into that i've not seen that before dude what were you thinking by christopher not i don't me. know there i think they're seeing some story in there that i'm not perceiving like i just see a couple of people chilling on the bench i don't see that kind of interesting story i recognize this right away key west key yeah, west sloppy joes is that it yeah and i think they waited for an interesting person to go by and i like the flag and the architecture and the highly saturated colors which i think is a part of the key west experience yeah um let's see here wow how fast was this guy going? One eight thousandth of a second. <laughs> yeah, you probably could have cranked that down a little bit. We don't know. Most fast. But... We don't know how. Um, That's a cool yeah, one. good shot. I like that. Very Key West. This um, is like a very cool photo, painting. but it's not street. But yeah, it is street beautiful. photography is kind of a candid thing, and I don't think anybody was candidly light painting. That would be crazy. <laughs> Uh, I I like the tones in this shot. Me too. I like the kind of awkward composition. Definitely been lost in crowds in New York City, but I don't I don't know that I see the story here. Like it though. Nice light. Scratch off cowboy. I I really like that. This I is, like that too. I'm gonna I, give this a pick. It's like uh, it's just a slice of life and shot. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's really I think well it's done. a really good story. All right, the Brooklyn Bridge here. Um, no sleep till Brooklyn. And I do think it's a great spot. There's so many people coming through, but you know, this is our focal point here and it doesn't seem like he's quite in focus and he doesn't have an interesting expression or anything. There's no eye contact going on. Uh, but I think that's a good spot to hang out. Yeah. That's a, one of the best spots in the world if you're gonna do some street <laughs> photography. <laughs> oh my God, look at all their gear. They each got three cameras. I was going to say, I feel like we oh, must know geez. these people, right? <laughs> wow. Okay. <Cannon. laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Photographers always take pictures of each other as we're out shooting street performers. Oh, well, this is pretty cool. Does it count as street photography, though? It's Andy Shields. Yeah. Andy Shields. No, I mean, I love Andy Shields, but regardless of that, this is definitely kind of street photography. It's a public place. Um, and I love that he's capturing just, it's just such a good moment. You yeah. Know? And the slow shutter speed makes it here. So you yeah. get a pick, Andy. Definitely. Look at the light. Is this yeah. really how they roll? The light is nice. The background blur is nice. There's no story for me. Um, there is for me. 
This guy has got it all going on. He's got a Harley, a cardigan, neon glasses. He doesn't care what you think. Yeah, he is the most properly dressed, preppy Harley Davidson rider I've ever seen. We judged him. No, Trying no local judgment. street food. Nice. I like the movement of the people in the foreground. I think that makes it interesting in the mm -hmm. fact that we're it's kind like of framed a little bit. Them. Yeah. It's a nice one. Nice uh, panning, but everybody. Not really a street. See, I can't see like the context of the photo, so I think there's no story. Yeah, this just feels like a portrait, right? And this feels more like a photo shoot than a candid shot, but it's a nice picture. Um Got any questions or comments for us, Chris? Yeah. We do have to leave you, right on time this week because we've got kickball again. Yeah, probably a little okay. early. If you could have dinner with one famous influential photographer, contemporary or not, who would it be? Oh, Tony. David LaChapelle. Oh, I chose you. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were tossing it to me. <laughs> 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 well, don't you look foolish. Can I come on your dinner date with David? Yeah, you can come along. <laughs> Who would you want to have dinner with, Chris? Uh, I've been, uh, I, I'm, I'm biased because I've been reading uh, some of Ansel Adams' books. Yeah. His negative camera and, and uh, darkroom, or uh, print, and I would, would love to sit down and pick his brain for, for, a, for an evening. That'd be great. Yeah, I definitely thought of him right away. You know what? I changed mine to Gordon Parks. But I think oh, you'd have really? to come, Tony, because he had a way with the ladies. <laughs> oh, you're saying you would need some protection. Yeah. Yes, he might woo me. He had many wives, and they all did interviews and were like, yeah, Gordon was the man. <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> uh, straight performer. Oh, I thought they were eating snakes at first. It's like, wow. And any, did you anybody have any tips for... People that want to do street photography that are that live in a small city. Um, it is tough. Life tough. is easier if you're in New York or Chicago. Yeah. We're kind of in the same boat where we live by a very small city, but there's not often a lot going on. I think my approach would be to go out when there are a lot of people out, when there's an event on the weekend, um, not when it's completely dark, but maybe when people are leaving work, when it's a busier time. Yeah, I mean... You will get to know that spot really well yeah. and find the the very best background and create a great picture without a person and then wait for somebody to come in there. But you can know every block in a small place and then try different times of day, like figure out when the light's going to be behind you so the subject is nicely lit and maybe go there when it's raining or just after a rain and the streets get this nice like reflection on them. Yeah. But just get out there and do it and then plan a trip to a city sometime after you develop some skills. Yeah, we're kind of flipping through here to find what we would actually a lot of consider to be street that photography. Are... That's pretty cool, right? That's cool. Wow. <laughs> okay, that one caught my attention for sure. Nice shot, Tommy. The Louvre. Cool. Oh, that's a great spot. You want to do chit chat? Eye contact. Okay, let's see what people had to say for chit chat. <laughs> Chit chat is a part of the show when we read your comments. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're cruel, and we'll let you know what we think. Tony, what's this one about? Okay. I included a mannequin in a couple of recent shoots. Uh, I remember. People I have lots of different theories about this, like I'm in the doghouse or uh, you're dead <laughs> or something. Uh, but no, a mannequin is just life. convenient and a mannequin doesn't move. And I'll start with the one at the bottom where I did a crop factor video where you were kind enough to model. And this guy says, uh, Lola says, at two o'clock, the girl is smiling on the full frame picture, but not on the micro four thirds yeah. picture. Uh, so yeah, then the full frame looks better. So there you can see, and I got many of these types of comments where I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison, but your human face changed slightly between the two and therefore people think this one's better than this one or the beauty dish is better than the softbox. I box. probably just got bored, which is why you're using a mannequin in the next ones because you were like, do you want a model? And I was like, I got to go like do stuff. Yeah, it's boring to stand there, especially when the instruction is to like move as little as possible because any little movement will throw everything off. And 
then when I include the mannequin, people are like, oh, he says, what you're doing is a bummer. Uh, whether it's Chelsea Chelsea or whomever, go back to using actual humans. But when I do use humans, people get hung up on the human. You are. Yeah. And then people start talking about my body. It, well, there's that too. Everybody's got a comment on whoever's in front of the camera. I'll just be your model next time and then we can use the mannequin too. And we can model together. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> um, I w it's not like, I thought the mannequin would be less of a distraction. I was totally wrong. Yeah. The mannequin was a massive distraction. I think it was like... Everybody commented on her body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody learned anything from it because there was a plastic person there. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. In other words, there is no winning. There's no winning. Um, this is, a, I thought this was just unsettling. This guy said, hi, Tony. First, let me say one important thing. Your wife, I really hope is your wife, is absolutely the most sexy woman I saw on the planet. I want she become my mom. Whoa. Really congrats. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> I feel like this person might be, might speak another language primarily, but... Why do they want me to be their mom? That's, yeah, they didn't mistranslate that. No, I'm not going to be your mom. They want I'm a sexy... Kyle Wolf's mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Alpha says, I wonder if Chelsea there got fired. <laughs> I wonder what it would take to get me fired around here. <laughs> I'd have to be pretty mad at myself. Uh, Brian said, oh, we did a podcast, is photo editing cheating? And wow, we inspired so much good discussion. Um, Brian said, I think that anything is acceptable as long as you're upfront about it. Um, and then this Western Australia guy said, short answer is yes, it's cheating. Long answer is yes, it is cheating. So Dang. wow, we have people on both sides. You should go watch that podcast, maybe comment down below, maybe argue with Brian or this guy, depending on what you believe. And that's it. That's chit chat. You're still okay. shook about that mannequin. You really felt like, oh, I can't win. There were hundreds of comments about the mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the mannequin is going to be retired unless it's an extreme situation. Do you want me to just stand and shake her legs so people think she's real? Yeah, I think that would really be a we'll huge hit on the internet. We'll do some stop motion. You're going to develop some new audience that we didn't know existed previously. Oh, I know they exist. I know where to find them, too. We could put some strings on the arms and just make her go like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is beautiful. If this is truly candid, well done. I'm going to give it a pick. Yeah, I like the reflections in the foreground. Uh, yeah, that was a beautiful photo, but I wouldn't call it street. Yeah, we need people. These people are just chilling. I like, like... that they're chilling. I like that there's like empty space between them, even though they're, it's very crowded. It's nice. The Myanmar temple. Uh, I like I think the, it's a beautiful shot. the repetition. Yeah. I wonder if black and white would ruin it. Yeah. I think that, I don't know. I think black and white with some more processing, adding some contrast back in might work. Yeah. But. Uh, here we are at the Brooklyn Bridge again, but yeah, I want to see people's faces. And I know it's a little uncomfortable to be in people's faces. Uh, and I think as long as you're there, it's such a symmetrical place. You got to just go for symmetry, like just put it dead center. You know, you don't have to always follow the rule of thirds. Uh, this shot's just straight up underexposed, right? Yeah, crank that up. I think uh, they're going for a more matte look, but let's see. I like the pants. Um, I would crop it down here just so that we bring more attention to the people. So let me just undo this, unlock it. and. Yeah, I like including the pants in there, and I yeah. think it's a great spot. But you got two people on their cell phone. That is the focal point. And our friend, a great photography photographer, Giselle Dupre, does not take any pictures of people on cell phones. As just as a rule, because it's so common and it's so boring. And I like that rule. And if these people were doing anything else, it would be much more compelling. Oh, you could Photoshop in a cat. Yeah. <laughs> just holding his cat up to his face. That's a beautiful picture. <clears throat> that is nice. I like this picture because you search around a little bit and then you get to <laughs> this guy's face and he's just making a really funny expression. Yeah, and there is a nice story here and we have like a community <laughs> activity and this guy's interacting with the photographer which kind of puts you there. Um, but something's happened with the processing. I think It's too flat. They, they, yeah, they 
did some clarity or some HDR stuff and oh, the, your editing has already made it really work. With your edits, I give it a pick. Okay. Are she we saved you, Cliff. <laughs> okay, Cliff, we're a good team, all right? I'll send you the bill. It's this lady. Not technically a person. Oh, oh man, what happened? Oh, that made me feel something. I'll give you a pick. Yeah, I like that. It was a good moment. Oh, that's oh. a beautiful shot. I love shooting into the sun like that. You know, it's it's low contrast, but it totally works because that's just how lenses work. Oh, Chelsea's gonna make it more contrast. Just a little. Yeah, it's so. I want to see this it's child. Perfect. I love the eyes in it. You get a pick. Wow, this really tells a story. Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Damn. Well, check out the graffiti. Yeah, the graffiti's amazing. Yeah, and then you have the lady with the headphones on in the background, and she almost looks like a nun. I thought she was a nun. Not... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's definitely an interesting story. Like, it it was a lot for me to take in. And her eye contact really makes it very good. Wow, she's getting really stacked those perfectly. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it a pick. We we spent so much time just talking about it. Like, that's already a good sign. Yep. Uh, I like the composition. It's nice. Okay. Is that in Philly? No. Um, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah, this is a great shot. It's, I guess it's street photography. It's almost like a portrait, but... Um, it definitely has that candid feel to it. What do you, does Jim get a pick? I wish there were more context, but I'll give him a pick. Yeah, I wish we saw a little more of what was going on. It's a beautiful picture. You're right. There's not a whole lot of story to it, but it's a gorgeous shot. We need some eye contact here. Some people. Um, oh, the snow is such a good situation to be in. This is a beautiful car shot. And it's yeah. in the street, but it's not. Who are you trying to check over here? It is like a commercial grade Don't you know? car shot. That's a great car shot. Oh, okay. That's a cool picture, but we know you pose that. <laughs> if that was candid, that would be remarkable. But that's a great <laughs> portrait. Oh, I love this. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, this, I got to give a pick to this as I explored the picture you know what pushed me over the edge to give it a pick it's the guy in the background who's who's looking over that guy <laughs> that guy pushed me over the edge um you could definitely get that shutter speed down you're at 1 200th and ISO 1600 and the noise is distracting but you could be easily at at 1 50th and ISO 400 do you like color or black and white even lower um uh, I wasn't bothered by the color, but it, maybe black and white's a little bit better. But the color's so muted, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna give it, it a pick. Detract from it. Why do uh, birds? There's so much potential in this scene. I just wish that the kids were interacting with the birds a little bit more. Oh, is this? Oh, it's all the same kid. I was wondering if what? the seagulls were cloned you think as it's... well or something. I th I th is there some trickery going on? Because photoshopping is cheating. No, it's not. Or are they triplets? Are they triplets dressed the same? Like, are these birds replicated? What is happening? The shot is kind of surreal, isn't okay, it? Okay, we need to do our CSI, right? <gasps> oh, oh, it fell apart dang. quickly. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's still cool. Yeah. I got to get some sunglasses that I can dramatically take off when we <laughs> and I'll do the a picture thing. like that. I'll do the scream. It's like, yeah. <laughs> dun, dun. And Sign then up. Justin will do the dun, dun. dun we got, I got one more question. Oh, Chris. You, you got a question, Chris. There. What you got? Yeah. Well, Justin got it. That was Columbo. Okay. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, it's been a while. Any any thoughts on Flickr acquisition by Smug Mug? I saw the headline, but I don't know. Do you have any thoughts on it, Chris? I I didn't really have I, a relationship with either company, so it didn't mean much to me. Either, I mean, yeah, okay, they're consolidating. I, I don't know. Yeah. I haven't. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have more interesting things to say about that. Yeah. 
Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, yeah, a pick. Okay. I don't know where we are at, on picks right now, but I feel like I'm using some restraint. Yeah, we're in the low triple digits. <laughs> you can do another import anytime you want. We are, I think we might be good on photos here. What yeah, time we is actually it? have to head out pretty soon. We have a little, need a little time to get That's ready. That's beautiful, but come on. Through the sign, I like that framing. Maybe we should go to the grid view here and see what catches our eye. Oh my eye. gosh. I know this isn't street, but look how cute. Uh, it's a really cute baby. A really little baby. Um, oh, well. Okay. The dog. <laughs> In a chair. <laughs> Babies and dogs, people. That's the secret. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice moment. I don't know what's going on. Is he He's fainted? He's so tired. What about the shadow, though? I'm going to give this one a pick. It's it's thoughtful. I want a little more contrast in it. You can't. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Pick the colors. Wow. Okay, we're doing a, a turbo wow, review. Whoa, Wait. whoa, go, whoa, go back. You like the guy in pink here? Justin and I both did. We did yeah, a whoa, whoa. Cool. It's cool. The pink. Nice. I, I think it's a lie. I think he photoshopped it. Oh but my gosh, you I'm don't not, trust anyone. <laughs> I'm not going CSI. I liked it either way. Too lonely. Big shadow. Oh, I like that. Oh, cool. That's pretty good. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, you are living. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then. That's beautiful. Wow. It is. It's a street performer, but it's a fantastic, beautifully give... lit shot. It's a cool portrait. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving that a pick. Yeah. That looks like um, it'd be like a ripoff version of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> New Twitter? Yeah. Flitter. I like that the whole world is moving around the confused tourist. Yeah, how did that guy not move for 1.6 <laughs> seconds? He is a razor sharp. Wait. He was trying to text something and it just took so long. Yeah, probably. That's really funny. He's probably just trying to match his Bitmoji outfit to his actual clothes for the day. Yeah, I wonder who would do a thing like that, Tony. <laughs> really deep into Bitmoji now. I've committed to using communicating only via Bitmoji. So I've cropped out everything else um, because I think the story is that like the world is swirling around this man trying to use his phone. Beautiful. Um, yeah. What is next week's theme? Um... I oh, uh, a slide. It's artistic. Artistic, which is a really broad one. Then you're going to be infuriated when I judge you. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up, Justin. Yeah, we, we skipped that slide. Sorry about that. Next week is artistic photos. It is. And you're going to be infuriated. <laughs> <laughs> I like the eye contact in the shot a lot. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. You're cheating. You're cheating. <laughs> Oh, can I just go back and look at that one more time? Oh my God. The dog is so happy about it though. It says just for Chelsea. Oh, oh. it does. It works. They know me. Okay, but you cheated. Okay. <laughs> well, you did a podcast on it. So, you know, editing is cheating. Well, submitting a dog smiling at a man meaningfully. <laughs> That's a cool picture. Yeah, I like that long exposure a lot. Whoa. I think well, long exposures are one good way to get great street photography. Okay, we're trying well, to get, we have to get out. Was of that a standoff class. between this boy and the popo? Look at him. He's like, "Come for me if you can." Yeah, he was probably speeding. Looks really fast. Okay. Really nice light. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Amanda, I I'm giving you a pick. Love the arrangement. Good of that. eye. Uh, off-center composition. I like that. A little uncomfortable. Oh, man. Spot color Don't pinatas. we all know what this is like? You got to stack your pinatas. <laughs> Whoa, he got nice and close. The colors. Ooh. Dang. Oh, I, I like Cancer <laughs> Man. Cancer Man from uh, X-Files. X-Files, right. You're not just there. <laughs> Just a boy and his little chicken. 
That's beautiful, but that's not the street life. Look at that baby. The baby smiling at the mom, and the mom is like, I love you, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> is this Just spontaneous? Just regular street photography. <laughs> <laughs> that's in New Haven. Hi, Mark. Oh. Whoa. Why? <laughs> that's a cool picture. A lot of good photos today. Oh, I like I love the that composition. That's really yeah, that's pretty. a great one. Cool. I'm giving that's Escalator the hope. Second the import too. Hmm? Oh, we that's have to so get out because we got import. we got the kickball life. We have to leave we like gotta, right we now. We got a kick and run I very short distances. More. What? Oh, Go back. Man. What is that? Is that okay? Yeah. Is you that for real? Pick. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Do you think? Shit. Do we have to no, 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 no. Do we have to unpick it? I think it's fake. I think they cheated. They cheated. Oh man. Or was she just deep in the shadows and they Shame. lightened her up? Shame. I'm helping him cheat. Yeah, actually I wonder if that's what happened. Let's All right. Let's CSI it. I'm gonna let the pick dun, stand. Dun. You can't revert a pick, but Keep that in mind as you go to scp.io slash vote. You can't reverse a pick. <laughs> we have to make sure now. I make up the rules, but I also follow them. Yeah, I make them up and I break them up. <laughs> I think we also need to make sure the, some of the photos aren't stolen before they win because people have put in like Cartier Brasson photos and stuff. They oh, try to man. trick us sometimes. I yeah, think like, like we should just oh. do reverse image search on the winner, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not a bad we'll idea. We'll get Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that one is cool. Picky. It's got cool pants. Picky, picky, Wait, pick. oh, you gave the wrong one to pick. I went too fast for you. Wow. Oh, Ooh, man, we got so many light. pictures on the first How are we going to limit the picks, Chris? Honestly. You don't have to limit the picks. Chris, stop Yeah, you can it. just kill Chris. Sure. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Chris, why can't you just let me blame you for all my problems? Okay, at least we got through the first M4. Uh, we have to go early. Sorry, next week is artistic photos. And we will which is announce broad. we'll announce the winner of this show next week, and you'll be the first person to get uh, the year of uh, Adobe. Everybody gets a 30-day free trial if you uh opt in submit send a picture and, and opt, opt in. in but if, if you, you win, win you get a full year of the adobe photography plan which is worth like 120 bucks yeah. sdp.io slash vote um i think if you want the trial you can go there too after the show yes thanks guys see thanks, you next week Chris. thanks Justin. bye you betcha that is all <laughs>